Hey, this is Levi's Little Lectures, and I'm Levi from ToyFamily.org. In my last teaching, I talked about being humble. Well, in this teaching, I want to talk to you about pride. First, what is pride? It basically means to think you are more important than others. Thinking you are more important to the point where you mistreat others, or where you aren't very nice to them because you think you're too good to be around them. Even though you may not think those exact words to yourself, how you treat others could be saying it loud and clear. Pride is a dangerous thing to have in our lives. The Bible gives us many verses to warn us about having pride. Verses like this one. Proverbs 16, 18. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. So what does that mean? It means when someone has pride in their life, Bad times will eventually come. Even though things may be going good for them right now, the time will come when it won't be going good for them because of having pride. If someone walks around thinking they're better than everybody else, a time will come when they will be humbled in a painful way. So do you have pride in your life? That's an important question. We really need to look at our life and how we treat others. If we're being prideful to others, that could eventually bring bad things into our life. So what are some things that bring pride into someone's life? Are you good at something? If so, that's great. But be careful. A lot of times when someone is good at something, pride can set into their attitudes. They start showing off to prove they are better than everyone else. What you may not realize is that when you're prideful, no one really wants to be around you. You may not be prideful all the time, but when you are, it shows. Consider this example of someone who had pride. The Bible talks about a king named Nebuchadnezzar, who Yahweh had to humble. The king had a dream. Only Daniel the prophet could give the meaning to the dream. However, the explanation of the dream that Daniel had wasn't good for the king. Because the king had so much pride in his life, he was told that Yahweh would send him away from the people and he would live with wild animals. He was told he would eat grass like cows. Exactly. And he would get wet with dew every morning. Basically, he would live with and act like wild animals. And then, one year later, it actually happened. Daniel chapter 4, verse 29. Twelve months later, as the king was walking on the roof of the royal palace of Babylon, he said, Is not this the great Babylon I have built as the royal residence? By my mighty power and for the glory of my majesty. That verse right there shows his pride, saying to himself how good he is. Daniel 4.31 The words were still on his lips when a voice came from heaven. This is what is decreed for you, King Nebuchadnezzar. Your royal authority has been taken away from you. You will be driven away from people and will live with the wild animals. You will eat grass like cattle. Seven times will pass by for you until you acknowledge that the Most High is sovereign over the kingdoms of men and gives them to anyone he wishes. Immediately, what had been said about Nebuchadnezzar was fulfilled. Wow, Yahweh made this happen to the king because he wouldn't turn away from his pride. If you think about it, this is exactly what Proverbs said can happen. Remember our verse? Proverbs sixteen eighteen: Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Everything was going good for the king while he was being prideful. But then one day, Yahweh took it all away because he wouldn't repent from his pride. We should keep all pride out of our life. Always. I mean always. In fact... That's why we read this in Romans chapter 12. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought. Rather, think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you. So the next time you see pride in your life, get rid of it. Be kind to others and treat them as yourself. That's doing the second greatest command according to Yeshua. Mark 12:31. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. 
So, get rid of all pride and start loving your neighbor as yourself today. We hope you have enjoyed this teaching. Remember, don't just listen to the word. Do what it says. That's the only way to grow. Until next time, shalom. I don't know why I'm burping. <laughs> oh, right. I had that crash. I didn't have much, though. Like that? Yeah. Oh, well, I was like, oh, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bobo Matic. <laughs> no. Proverbs. <laughs> I got through that part. Yay. <laughs> Me, like I need to breathe in. <sighs> okay. Okay. It just, you know, that feeling whenever you start first started out. <laughs> yeah. Did you have that feeling? Oh, yeah. Nervous? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. God. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Glory of my majesty. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Give me a second. My shoulders feel weird. Okay. Oh, it's me pinching you. <laughs> Little work, <laughs> <laughs>